All right, folks, welcome to this exciting video. This is our first day waking up on the island here of Isla. And we're taking a little morning walk up the road here. And look at this first historical wonder here. It's one of these old mile markers. Six miles to Port Ellen. And yeah, we're just basically out here. We're on a wee adventure because there's like some old stone circles and some ancient history out here on the island. So we're away to check it out. We're out here exploring on this wild moor, folks. You can see Fairy Hill Cottage over there in the distance. And this is like wild fern, deep ferns and long grass. And out here somewhere there's old stone circles. So we're just, we've come to the higher ground to get a better look. But the landscape here is just incredible. It's wild and desolate, folks. But it looks like it is clearing it over the sea here. It looks like all this cloud and stuff starting to clear off the island for the morning here. Yeah, I've got the trousers tucked into the socks to stop any ticks going up my leg. That's another precaution. Yeah, we're just basically surveying the land from here, folks. I was just out scouting the area there, folks, just to see if the stone circle's any further up here. But I can't actually see it just now. So we're gonna have to try a different route. AKR's found it, folks. Look at this, there's a circle of stones here. It's smaller than I was imagining. Yeah. Right. I've seen them like this before. And this is to mark, I just the old stone circle. It's just so full full on the map. From ancient times. See the four stones. So I actually walked literally like right past it a minute ago when I was doing my little recce of the area. I'll get a photo of it. Right folks, we're now off that moor over there which you just saw a second ago and we had to get changed because we're soaked after the long grass and stuff. But it was so cool to see that little stone circle to start this video. We're now just leaving the beautiful Fairy Hill Cottage and we're away to go on our next little adventure here in this video. I think we're heading we're heading to see some cool more like spots on the island. I've got my wee bottle of apple juice with me and we're we're out here folks, look at it. The amount of different wildlife and stuff we've seen is just incredible. We saw two little brown frogs. We saw some stags. Red deer, I think they are. And yeah, just tons and tons of different wildlife. And look at this little sign, it's outside Fairy Hill Cottage. That is a bumblebee. Anyway, folks, we're away to get in the old Land Rover and carry on this adventure, so let's get on. Show them the beauty of these little roads. 
stunning landscape. Right you folks, we've now come a few, not even two miles up the road for Fairy Hill Cottage and there's this ancient kirk here with one of the oldest Christian carved stones in the whole of the Scottish Isles, the whole of Scotland and this is it in this graveyard here and we're waiting to look at it that was carved when Christianity first swept over the land they were trying to teach the barbarians a new way of life and yeah, it's cool. This is one of these graveyards with the characteristic like steps built into the wall. I think the B and B T R stuff are barbarian. <laughs> yes. Even getting into a graveyard like this is a, an adventure on its own. In this graveyard, these stones are just ancient. It looks like they have cut a, a little route round to this graveyard round here. We'll just make our way around and we'll look at that ancient cross stone after we've had a look at the, this side of the building. Look, this could be an ancient grave marker from times gone by, folks. Each one of these stones as well will be like a grave marker, but it'll be from a time so long ago that people probably didn't carve like the names into the stones as much back then. Like we'll have a wee look inside. It looks like it has the bricks and stuff have been pointed and cared for. Look at all these stones. Oh, this is an 1831. 1830 on that one. Look at these, these are real old ones. Because this railing's here. I'm not going to cross over in a road anything more than what it already is, but look. It's got these like, they're almost like Vikings helmets carved in here. And then it's got these old patterns. These old gravestones are probably as old as that grave at the side. Look at this. I really have to go and document this, folks. Look at this here. Wow. Look at this stone carving. Look, he's got his helm on and his his battle dress and then this great sword here. And the battle dress of that era was almost like a kilt. Now look at this. That's been like maybe a little fountain or something at one time. Wow. Incredible ancient history, folks. Let's keep our walk going around here. We'll see what's at the end of the building. camper van coming up the way. See this here folks, some of these graves on the ground are just ancient. Look at the stone carving here. It looks the same as what we saw inside the chapel. It's so old. Incredible. Just imagine all the local people coming here, congregating here maybe on a Sunday. And then there's this massive carved sandstone at this side, which is the most famous sandstone at this site. So look at the carving in this, folks. This is like basically when they were teaching Christianity to the masses. And the detail in the carving is just incredible. Considering how many years it's been standing here, it's probably been getting like eroded by the weather every year, but the detail's still good. It's 
some of these look really, really old. It's hard to even see like a year on some of them. These ones as well, so ancient that if there had been anything written on them, it's like it's totally eroded off. Each one of these will be a grave as well. What a spot for a graveyard as well, out here on this pinnacle of land. And it's only literally like a mile, maybe two miles from Fairy Hill Cottage. So you should check it out. But these little stones sticking out of the grass, they look quite similar to the stone circle at the start of this video. It's like, maybe those stone circles are like at the start of the video signified maybe a viking or something got buried there and maybe there was a battle there. You never know what it actually meant. But it is cool to document it and show these things so if they get covered over by the grass you get an idea where they were. Even way out here on the Isle of Isla. We're documenting history like every day. Like some of these carvings, it looks like it's almost been like a great sword or something on there. And then same with this, look at this. This is a great sword here. Same here, the swords. That might signify that it was like a soldier Oh, here we go. This could be literally a Viking burial or something. Cause look, here's a boat, a long boat. Depiction of the long boat. Oh, with a sail. So yeah, this is ancient history from like a time before a lot of history was even written down. Nature really takes over a place like this because it'd be so hard to maintain. I think they cut the grass and stuff, but probably once some certain families and that die off, like the graves just didn't get maintained the same. There's a cool bit because where the fence ends, it's like they've got a stone slab to like stop the rabbits and stuff getting in. So they believe this stone was carved about 1300 years ago. So that dates to around the same time that Christianity was sweeping over even the bit of Scotland that I'm from. Because I've been at like the Ristenth Priory and that, and that dates back to roughly that same time. We'll go across this road though and here look, there's like a newer standing stone over there. Look at this sign here, folks. So look at this, from the other side of the road, I thought this stone looked like it wasn't as old. But now I'm seeing it here, I genuinely think it is. It is an old stone. Look at it, folks. The silhouette of it there on the sky. I think the fence has obviously been put around it to stop people climbing on it and wearing it out. So it's been cool in this video to, ch to find that little stand of stones this morning there and then to come here and see these ancient stones as well. It's just a cool like ancient time and history. It's been a cool little adventure to come and see it. But I'll end this little video here folks, tune in again very soon to see what, what we're up to next because we're literally just on constant adventures this whole week and still it's morning here and we're away to keep doing more and more all day so tune in again soon. I'll end this one here, thanks very much for watching, see you soon folks.